Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today we are going to be cleaning up the aftermath of Halloween. I hesitated to film this just because this is, this is disgusting. But you know what? I'm really happy to say that my house doesn't get like this too often. I mean, it, you know, life happens and stuff, but we had a crazy weekend. We had my in-laws come up, which was a lot of fun, and, you know, did pumpkins and stuff and trick-or-treating. And then Sunday after church, I baked uh, pepperoni rolls, which I made quite a bit. It was for a function at church, so it completely trashed my kitchen. But, you know, that's okay. And uh, then my husband got home, and I was, you know, I wanted to visit with him. And he works crazy hours, so when he's home, we just try to spend time together. But I just cleared everything up and disinfected my counter. And that is actually, I think it's Mr. Clean Concentrate with some water in it. Like I said, I do like natural cleaners, but sometimes I just, I don't know, this stuff just does better with the harder stuff. Those bags that are hanging off my counter are my kids' trick-or-treat bags. <laughs> I don't know how a pillowcase and a toilet po paper roll ended up in my kitchen. Well, the toilet paper roll was probably saved for a craft. I've got a baby shower coming up, Harry Potter theme. I was going to make some floating candles. There's my hubby coming in there. He was trying to stay off camera because he's in his pajamas. Uh, my kitchen island, I'm thankful that I have an island. I've never had one before. But y'all see these tiles on here? I'm... I'm pretty sure this was like a DIY project and it they are really difficult to clean. Stuff gets stuck in the, you know, the island butt cracks and it's just, you the know, ridiculous. Y'all, I got a little visitor here at the bottom. Joe says, hello. Peekaboo. <laughs> That's my four-year-old. Which is me. Which is Joe, if you can hear him talking right now. He's doing a voiceover with me. I have to move my fruit bowl or I end up spraying it. I love you too. Why is it so satisfying to watch somebody load a dishwasher? I know I enjoy watching myself load this dishwasher more than I actually enjoy doing it. I'm really particular about how I like this, you know, loaded. And I'm really trying my hardest just to be grateful that my kids can put their stuff in the dishwasher but I am guilty of going right back behind them and reloading it. Hey, y'all, look, I'm getting a little bit more aggressive with my, oh, goodness, my scrub or my wiping down on my counters. It feels weird when I say my wiping skills. That doesn't sound, sound appropriate. <laughs> this island top again I know it sounds like I'm complaining I swear you put one thing down and it it just looks all cloudy and then I don't know it's hard to keep it looking clean I can keep it clean like sanitized but you know so I have this habit of every time I go to a thrift store which isn't really that often but I'll I have to buy a coffee cup I mean I don't have to buy a coffee cup but I do and I have got a really strange collection of all these weird random coffee cups from thrift stores and it seems like every single one of them has to be washed by hand. But look at that. Uh, these tablets I bought at, oh crap, you all, I did not mean to do that. But those tablets I bought at Sam's and they're like Clorox, they're terrible. They were a lot cheaper than the Cascade. Now I know why. Here I am just scrubbing my dishes. I washed all these by hand because my dishwasher was completely full and I didn't want to put them in there. I don't stick my crock pot in the dishwasher. We just recently put the sink in here. We live in a double wide, so everything's always a little bit different. And it we t had a time trying to find a faucet that would fit and everything else. But anyway, I wanted to try one of these sinks out because I thought it would be better. And I actually really enjoy this. I thought it might be a change going from, you know, a double sink to this, but no, this is great. Of course, y'all, you know you got to shine that sink. I use some of this uh, Barkeeper's Friend cream stuff to, to shine it. Uh, this stuff's okay. I like it. I don't like it enough to buy it again. 
I, I'll use the powder form, but look, y'all look at this, look at the slow motion. I don't know, it seemed really neat to me. Now my drain, it's not clogged. It's just not meant for a sink like this. But anyway, about that cream cleanser, um, it's okay. Like again, I won't be I won't be purchased then they buying it again just because it wasn't my favorite product, but it's not bad. Look at her, isn't she pretty? She's gonna blind you with her shine. And here's my clean kitchen. See what I mean about that? Like you set one thing down and it looks dirty. I didn't show cleaning my stove because I was blocking the camera, so. There's my clean counters. You see Jojo in the back. Now this is my messy living room. I know my pictures are crooked. Y'all, coffee cup number one. Coffee cup number two. Number three. Coffee cup number four. I, I don't know. They are not all from the same day. They are definitely from the, over two days, but I'm terrible to set my coffee down. And then if I can't find it, I'll pour another cup. But again, I do have to say my house doesn't doesn't get this messy very often. I had some footage of me and Joe cleaning the table off. He picked up his candy and stuff, but he was in his underwear, so I didn't have that there. Just picking stuff up and putting it away. That's my little dog, Lulu. Joe and his pillow. Yes, y'all, I have camo furniture. I went through a Duck Dynasty phase and it just so happened we ended up needing couches at the time that I was watching it. And so this is what we ended up with. Now my husband's always wanted camo furniture anyway, so I figure while we've got kids in the house, it's probably the best time to have it. And then when they grow up and move out, I can get me something nicer. But they're actually incredibly comfortable. And then here's all my Halloween stuff and just the mess from the weekend. Those pictures on my wall, it's I think pink, pinky and blue boy. I'm not quite sure what they're called. It's something like that. Anyway, those were my mammals. She got them as a wedding gift uh, with, when her and my papa got married and she's, I think she's 95. So these pictures are, are pretty well old, but they hung in her living room for the longest time and then she gave them to me probably about 15 years ago and I absolutely love them. My mamma, she's still live and kicking. So my chairs need painted and this table needs refinished but you know I've got five kids, four boys, very creative messy little girl you know, so my table, you know, it could, it's definitely had some, some use wear and tear. This clean freak stuff, I like it. I love the smell, but I don't know. I don't like the way it comes out and there's not a lot of stuff in the bottle. And for the price that you pay, oh my gosh, I'm like watching this video and I was so afraid I was going to miss some of these pieces, but no, I got them. See right there. Yep. My husband just put this floor in about a year and a half ago. When we first moved in here, every room in the house had different flooring in it. I'd eventually like to put carpets in the bedrooms, but again, I've got boys. I say that like I've got some kind of illness. I've got boys. So this tin, I love puzzles and I kind of hoarded away quite a few of them so I pulled them out of my closet to make sure that I would do them and they sit back there in that tin. We also put all of our clothes that when we donate stuff or anything I have the kids pile them up in that thing back there but there's my little fall so yeah y'all can see the mess on the table my little fall table arrangement these chairs don't actually go with the table but all right y'all so I'm taking all my decorations off of my fireplace it's not a real fireplace but anyway so Halloween is my favorite holiday. I, I want to explain why it is. My When I was growing up, my mom would 
always come around on Halloween. I mean, she came around, you know, but uh, Halloween especially, I, we could always count on her to make it, you know, just an absolute blast. We, I have some of my favorite memories from Halloween. And I just, when I think of Halloween, I think of, you know, happy times. I'm not, you know, into all the horror parts and all that. I just like the little campy, silly, goofy stuff. I do love ghost stories and that type of, you know, hogwash stuff, but you know, it's fun. Anyway, I'm gonna take all those decorations and put them in my bathroom, maybe eventually do a decorate with me. See, when I work out, I would put my water bottle over here and it leaves these water spots. This fireplace is so difficult to clean. But that is not the same scrub from that I was doing my dishes with. I've got four of those, y'all. But it looks a little bit better. So here's the grand finale. Well, this is the before the grand finale. I made that quilt, y'all. There's Mason, Joe. Thank you all for watching. I just, again, these videos are so much fun to make. I mean, they're an awful lot of work, but I just, I appreciate y'all taking your time out of your day. And I hope you all join me in the next one, my little Tammy Lulu and my little Jojo.